Welcome to day 20 of my 30 day security challenge, the month long challenge I created to help you gain control of your privacy and security online. You can follow along at my blog at snubsy.com or you can check out each video in the playlist over at youtube.com slash tech thing. Today is all about cleaning up your social network security and privacy part two. Today we are going to look at Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. So let's go ahead and get started with Facebook. Log into your Facebook account and click on the little question mark in the top right corner and go to privacy checkup. From here, go through each and every step and make the options more private. First is posting defaults. So set those to friends or friends accept acquaintances or whatever list you specify. Next, remove any third party apps that should not be connected. You should have already done this a few days ago, so it should be good to go. Next is to update your profile data and change your details to either only me, friends, or friends accept acquaintances. Next, head over to facebook.com slash settings slash the privacy tab. And I'll put that link in the show notes as well and update each of these settings. Do the same thing for the timeline and tagging section, ensuring that only folks that you trust have access to any information, or even better, only you have access to that. If it doesn't need to be on Facebook and you can delete it, go ahead and remove that data as well. Under security and login, you can choose three friends who are trusted contacts that can help you get back into your account if it's ever locked out. View the when you're logged in list and delete any devices that you don't recognize. Under login, change your password if necessary, then turn off profile picture login. Next, turn on notifications about login attempts and turn on two-factor authentication if you have not already. Now under mobile, remove any old phone numbers associated with your account. Under public posts, update your privacy settings accordingly. Lastly, under payments, delete any credit card data that does not need to be on Facebook. Also, if you if you feel like learning more about Facebook's privacy and security settings, you can read more about that over at facebook.com slash about slash basics. Now for Instagram, which just so happens to be owned by Facebook, log into your account and click on edit profile to get to instagram.com slash accounts slash edit. If you aren't using your Instagram for business, you will probably want to keep it private. On the edit profile page, uncheck similar account suggestions so you don't show up in public feeds. Change your password on the next page if you need to, then go to authorize apps to revoke access to any applications you don't need or recognize. Click on comments to hide anything inappropriate. Now from the Instagram app, click the three little dots in the top right corner on your profile page. Under the photos of you option, change it to add manually or hide photos. Under story, allow message replies from just people you follow or just turn it off and turn off allow sharing as well. Next, turn on two-factor authentication, then under business settings, if you have an Instagram business account, delete any credit cards that you do not need. Under linked accounts, remove any accounts by clicking on them and choosing unlink. Under comments, you can block or allow comments from specific users. You can also hide offensive material with the settings under this section. Then at the bottom of the settings page, click on clear search history and click yes, I'm sure. Lastly, go through your Instagram follow list and delete anyone that you don't want to continue following or anyone who follows you on a private account and remove any old photos off your Instagram that you don't feel comfortable with. Last thing for today is LinkedIn. So log into your account and choose the small picture of you with me written under it. Click and choose settings and privacy. Under basics, change your password and under privacy, delete or remove any settings that don't work well with your privacy in mind. At the bottom of this list, turn on two-factor authentication. And lastly, under communications, change who can message you and what kind of messages you would prefer to receive. Now that you've spent two days curating your social networks, it is time to take that level of knowledge to the next level. Go through other websites and see what kind of data they are tracking or saving about you, and delete as much as you can from whichever websites you are able to. Day 20 is now complete. Tomorrow is all about finding out if you have been in a website breach. Uh-oh. But first, make sure to subscribe on youtube.com slash tech thing and hit up snubsy.com for the downloadable checklist and to skip ahead on the 30 day security challenge. Again, I'm Shannon Morse and I will see you tomorrow for day 21.